win 3-2 at home against the, against the Winnipeg Jets. Welcome back to Into the Den, everybody. I am your host, host Jay Freeman. And this was this was an interesting game. I thought whenever listen, whenever we go against whenever the Bruins go against any of the three picks that the that they could have missed out on that they missed out on in the 2015 in draft, though, those being Matt Barzal of the uh, of the New York Islanders, there's Thomas Shabbat the uh, of the uh, of the Ottawa Sounders, or Kyle Connor of the uh, of the Winnipeg Jets. I immediately cringe, cringe because because our three picks because the three picks that we had before those three were Jakob Zaboral, who's who's been he's been decent, but now he's out the entire season with an eight with an ACL tear. Jake DeBrusque, who's Jake DeBrusque, who had a, who had a really good season a few years ago, and he's he's sort of been on a downward trajectory, but maybe he's coming back up uh, now. Well, and but also he wants out. And Zach and Zach Sanishin, who has just been not good the entire time that we've had him, and, and he also wants out. So so that is. That's why I'm always a little bit squeamish whenever. Meanwhile, freaking Matt Barzell is one of the one of the bright is one of the lone bright spots on that Islanders team. That on um, he was he was freaking great in the playoffs last season. In this season, and Kyle Connor is is like top five in goals scored in this season, and 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 Thomas Shabbat. I mean, he's having a down season, but he's still doing really really well. That well so far. But you may remember last uh, last game against the uh, against the Capitals was Marshan got boarded really hard by Garnet Hathaway, eh, and he eh, and was out for the rest of the game. Um, he eh, there was a bunch of speculation going into this game. Um, is Marshan going to be back? I mean, we know that Bleed's going to be eh, out because that hit Tom Wilson laid on him, eh, which I'm still going to say. Was a clean hit. Congrats, Wilson. You, congrats, Wilson. You've managed to suspend my disbelief in for another game. For yet another few days that that you were able to go a game without a on a dirty hit. But but that Garnet halfway hit on Brad Marchand, and we saw him pretty much doubled over in pain, and we thought that he was going to be, and we thought that he was going to be out this. Not this game, um, but sure enough, just before just before puck drop, we saw uh, we saw uh, the list of the lines, and and sixty three was was right there at the top uh, at the top, and and in net we had uh, we had Mister Tuka time, Tuka Rask, and I was I was still a little bit skeptical, especially because especially because of how the game started. It, and freaking Harkins and gets a gets a nice drop pass. It's like two minutes into the game. Um, as I forget who's driving, it wasn't Weor, but it was somebody on that top line. It was someone on that top six making drop pass to to Janssen Harkin and any you know just blasts it from from where Pasa usually scores. Right through Tuca, and I was like, uh, "Right, we're gonna this is gonna be another game where Tuca, where we reveal that signing Tuca wasn't that great." But eventually, but what? Less than a few minutes, a few minutes later, Harkins ends up getting into a fight with Clifton. So two, so so less than six minutes into the game, and and Yasin Harkins is already two is already already has two of the elements of a. Uh, Gordy Howe hat of a Gordy Howe slash Brendan Shanahan and hat trick, but you know, I'm surprised. But then we get one of the scarier parts of the game. Grizzlick ends up getting boarded really hard, 
I forget who who boards him, um, um, but they go right for the numbers and uh, and just and just deck him. Um, it takes it takes them fifteen freaking seconds to to stop play, uh, and from there, uh, uh, and and Jack Edwards is saying like, is there a double standard? To which I say, I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean numbers, nameplate. I I don't. I don't entire. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just not uh, too versed in this, and I, uh, I look like, and I sound like a fucking idiot. Uh, but, uh, but there wasn't too much. But there's not too much of a difference between. Uh, freaking, hold on. There is not much of a difference between this, and this to me. Sorry for that. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, speaking of DeBrusque, uh, uh, Ski ends up setting up a really nice uh, goal for Oscar uh, Steen, where uh, where he's driving the net, uh, 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 shoots it on, and uh, and Steen is there to uh, to take it and like wrap around uh, and almost do like a spinorama uh, and puts it right through Connor Hallowock's five hole uh, uh, to tie the game up one, and then. <laughs> We get freaking Pagansky trying to trying to beat the piss out of Carlo. Now look, I've been critical of Carlo in the past, but uh, and I'm and I'm going to say that uh, that Carlo is not the uh, the worst player on our team. I honestly think that the worst player on our team is Connor Clifton. But uh, uh, but I don't care much for Carlo. But even I know that you don't, you don't try and pick a fight with someone uh, who's five who's five inches taller uh, and has. Uh, and has 30 pounds on you. That's that's just not a great uh, idea. Mm. But uh, we eventually see... Mm. I mean, they Winnipeg ends up... Mm, mm, start. Mm, the first period eventually ends, ends Winnipeg ends up to one. Not great. Mm. And they ended up out shooting Boston in 11 to four in the first. All, mm, even, mm, even not greater. Mm. But we eventually get another. We eventually get one back with Car- with Coil on effect deflecting a fantastic forward drive into the net, and and from there it just felt it just felt like someone took the the Bruins playing ability and added and added like a square and added like an exponent somewhere in it, and it, because the entire rest of the game it felt like. It, it felt like the Bruins were slowly ramping up and eventually mm, shooting all the way up. Oh. Now, oh, am I still going to bring out the fact that uh, hockey is a 60 minute game and we should have had, uh, and if we were going to play the, you know, like this the whole, uh, the last 40 minutes, we might as well have started playing in like this for uh, the first 20. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. If you're going to, uh, if you're going to kick the ass of Winnipeg, you got to, uh, if you're going to kick the ass of, of any NHL team, you got to, you got to do it the whole game. You can't. You can't just take the, the foot off the gas. It's not great, especially in the final five. Especially in the final five, where where after the Bruins put up, or after the Bruins end up going up two, three, two, Hellebuck ends up getting getting some insane saves, and then and eventually when play stops. Um, so the Jets end up pulling him, and then Nosek imme- almost immediately takes a high sticking penalty. So we gotta uh, do the last. Fo- so we gotta do the last freaking uh, minute forty five with uh, uh, with a six on four. And I I was scared. I I was thinking, ah oh, shit, we're gonna get uh, this is gonna get OT, and this is not gonna go well. But eventually, Tuka managed to everybody managed to stick it out, and we got two U's. Two Ks, two goals, two points. And once you put the twos together, you get a W. Oh. And, and I don't know. It was it was definitely a it was definitely a very it was a shaky game at some points, but but the Bruins were able to iron over them and and they managed to win convincingly against a decent against a decent opponent against a pretty decent opponent 
Mm. Mm. But I think that is it for today's episode of Into the Den. Thank you all so much for watching. Click like if you like. Click subscribe if you really like. Down below is still the one of the go follow me for Jake Tebow. Uh, for Jake Tebow to help out on a kid who was uh, seriously injured in a in a freak hockey accident, and uh, and after this, uh, and tell your friends that uh, that this is the last. Tell your friends to freaking stop uh, making noise in the other uh, in the other dorm. What the fuck that is? Is tell your friends that uh, that this that next game against the Ducks is the is the last. Uh, is the last part of this Bruins home stretch, and after this, they're and after this, I'm off. If I'm not mistaken, they're playing eight of their next nine on the road. So let's hope, let's hope we can get that some of that road warrior, uh, road warrior genes, especially because is is the month of February is supposed to be really tough with us because especially since we're especially since both of our matchups against. Uh, matchups against Colorado are, are in February, and they're the first place team, and then the first, and then the first place team in the entire Western Conference. Take care.